Hallelujah. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you for your faithfulness. Blessed greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Prophet Chris, otherwise Radical Chris. Amen. And today we are going to continue where we left off in the previous broadcast. Today is day number four, right? Day number four of 52 days of prophecy and the prophetic word. So today I'm declaring yet again that you will finish well. And as such, you will finish well part four. Now, I believe that God is about to do this. He is about to give you victory over your adversaries and over your giants, right? And that's a good place to go ahead and shout amen. Go ahead and comment up below. Say this, this is my victorious season. Amen? But listen, you must be cautious of this place. The place I'm going to speak of for a few minutes. And hear me well, it is possible that you are trapped in this place and may not even be aware. So Sovereign Lord, as I share what I believe you minister to me to share with others, I thank you for the privilege to say yes to the counsel of your will. Amen. Lord, I thank you that as I open my mouth, you would have already filled it with your words. And as such, I've given me the tongue of the learned to know how to speak a word in season to the weary. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be pleased now with the meditation of my heart. And I pray that each person, each individual watching and listening will be significantly impacted by what shall be revealed. Meet each person that will come across this broadcast at their varied points of need. In Jesus' name, in Yeshua's name, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. So in the previous broadcast, we dealt with um, exposing some intentions of the enemy, as well as showing some key significance of this season by what was decoded. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So, if you missed that broadcast, I'll place a link in the description area below. And I'll also point to it here. Please endeavor to watch it as it will cause you to garner some well-needed insights and wisdom regarding the season we are in. Amen. Now, we concluded part three by making mention of a place that the battle occurred and that it would be my subsequent focus all right so the bible says that there was yet another battle at gob gob now first and foremost any battle with the philistines is of key importance because this will always be at a water spot but if that battle at, um, is at gob then listen you've got to really fight because of what it symbolizes. amen so biblically it speaks of three things first a pit now, this enemy wants to keep you at a low place. He wants for you to be at the lowest place possible in your life. Mm -hmm. Be it in your spirit, right? In your finances, whatever the case may be. Listen, he wants for you to experience your worst. He wants for things to reach rock bottom. Mm -hmm. For things to be so terrible and unspeakable that your entire world um, is shaken. This also represents a dark place in your life where one of two things can happen. You can either feel lost or you can become sinister and have dark thoughts. Listen, you can't afford to be here for long periods, amen? And that is why it's very important to realize where Sibekai was from and who he was related to. Listen, he's a descendant of Judah, which again means praise. Is an Ushatite, which again means east and silence, right? You've got to know what to be silent about in this season. But hear me well, praise isn't one of them. Amen? Hear this man of God. You've got to make ease to praise, lest you keep being drawn or dragged into a low place or entertain it. Wear the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Amen? Go ahead and declare this. And even comment it below. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say this. I disrobe myself of every pit garment and I put on the garment of praise now in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, you can even begin to lift up your voice in praise right now and even after this broadcast. Because as you do, you will be repositioning yourself from where the enemy may have affected you. Amen. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. But a next important thing about Sebekai being a Zarite means he was a son of Zero. And this name, as previously mentioned, means sunrise and rising. Now, the reason why this enemy wants to come at, to come at you so hard is because he wants to affect your rising. Now listen, while weeping endures for a night, joy comes in the morning. Hear me well. Never allow the night season to become perpetual. Alright? Like Paul and Silas, you've got to praise your way through these situations. Hear me well. God intends for you to rise in this season. But again, remember I said this is a subtle season. This enemy is strategic. So don't mistake rising with pride hmm? and fake exaltation. Otherwise, you might be operating like Jeroboam. Now, the same name which means rising and is a son of Judah can also represent the very enemy to Judah. Because in Second Chronicles 14, this same zero with an enemy that was one million strong came to battle Judah. Amen. So listen, don't allow your Judah or your priest to be invaded this month or season. And I give this caution because hear me well. The enemy will make every attempt to invade your praise. And that is why you've got to cry for help. Amen. And God forbid. But should you even lose your praise because of the difficult situations that may arise, then like Paul and Silas, Give it even when you can't afford to or are not supposed to based on what the situation would dictate. All right. That's why it is important to surround yourself with people who understands your warfare. People who will be willing to pull you out of the fight to preserve you hmm? when you are seemingly overwhelmed. Listen, David was no stranger to fighting giants, but they kept coming harder and harder. You may be no stranger to what's coming next from the enemy's arsenal, right? But they have strategized. They want to overwhelm you. Nothing is wrong with asking for help. But even this we've got to be sensitive about as well. Alright, so here this man of God. Sibakai stepped up to David when it mattered. Amen? When it mattered most. May those in your course or those in your support know when to step up for you and may you be sensitive as well to know when it's time to step up amen watch this when asa realized the army and the multitude that he was up against he cried to the lord and the lord delivered amen now after the lord did what he did he spoke to a prophet and warned them do not forsake god lest he forsakes you now, like the prophet to Asa, I am saying to you, if in your trouble you will turn to God and seek him, he will be found. Amen? And he will turn to you. And I say this because of all that the enemy is scheming up in this season, may those of us who have the privilege of hearing, hear what this man of God is saying. Amen? But not only does the place Gob represents pits, but the next thing it represents is cistern. Now, this, mainly, this is mainly known for being a place to catch water and more so rainwater. Now, this is quite profound because one of the things about this month is that it is a month for rain. And if it doesn't even seem that way as yet, don't be surprised when the downpouring begins. Amen? No wonder why the enemy will try to fight you here he will try to hinder you from receiving what God wants to rain down in your life so watch this when the Israelites were complaining about water and famine God told Moses that he is going to rain bread from heaven now listen if God can rain bread God can rain whatever your situation demands amen that's why the enemy will try to stand at your threshold, your door, your opening, your portal. But God's going to reign anyhow. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You've just got to make up in your sanctified mind that you will not miss your portion. As a matter of fact, hear me well. If your enemies are stubborn and rebellious, 
to try to contradict what the Lord wants to release in this season and in your lives, then as a prophet of God, I declare, I declare this. May they experience the next kind of reading as what happened in Joshua 10. Hmm? Listen, the Bible says that the Lord rained down ill stones against the enemy at the slope of a place called Betoran. Now, now the thing about Betoran, thank you Lord Jesus, that makes this even so much more prophetic is that it was a Philistine plain and a cavern. The very kind of place which is similar and related to a pit. I prophesy therefore over the lives of those that will receive it. The Lord will give you victories over your enemies this season. So I ask this question, can you stand the rain? Because if you can, it's a sure sign of restoration. If I were you, I'd comment below, my restoration begins now. Now let me, no, let me ask now. So the next thing that God represents biblically is grasshopper. Because at this place, the enemy wants for you to feel small. He wants for you to feel as if the task is insurmountable. Hmm? No wonder the spies said they were like giants and compared themselves to grasshoppers. This is the season for you to strip yourself of small and petty thinking. After all, we serve a big God. Let's think big, regardless of what may try to compete in our minds. Amen? Now, aside from the Bible, if you should just search a regular dictionary, one of the things that God represents is your mouth. So if someone should, should say to you, shut your gob, they are saying, shut your mouth. And listen, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Amen? Now, when a battle is fought here, the enemy is going after your ability to praise. He's going after your ability to prophesy. And he's also going after your, after, your, after your ability to pray. And if he can avoid you from doing these three things, life for you may be void and undesirable, hmm? to say the least. You will just be existing for the sake of being above ground. My God. Listen, I'm now beginning to understand why the month of November in previous years has always been one of two things. And in some cases, both either the lowest points in my life and at the same time the peak of my battles hear me well the war fears i have encountered have always intensified round about this season <coughs> sorry hmm? unbearable to say the least i just give god thanks for grace this time however god has given yet another revelation all right so it is crucially and critically important for you to discern the subtlety of this season. Know when to keep silent and when to open your mouth. Hmm? And if it's going to be open, then may as well it be for one of these three. To praise, to prophesy, or to pray. Amen? The enemy will orchestrate situations that will cause you to behave impulsive and say as you feel. Hmm? Now, that may be one of the times to be silent unless you're seeing what is written and in context, as Jesus did. The enemy will also want for you to lack the desire and zeal to pray. That's the time to pray even more. Hmm? And no matter what may come your way, praise your way out. Amen? Declare right words this month. What I've been sharing with you is scriptural, biblical prophecy unfolded. Amen? Believe and you shall be established. Believe this prophet, the man of God, and it shall definitely be a month for you to remember. Because if we get it right, you will be reaping the rewards of, of this month for many months to come. Amen. Listen, I want for you to soak yourselves in the prophetic words I've been sharing and those that I'll continue to share. Because words that are, se that are in season are like apples of gold in vessels or settings of silver. That's what Proverbs 25 verse 11 says. Amen. Hear me well. I have purpose in my heart to release what the Lord reveals to me every day for 52 days at 6.15 p.m. Eastern time. Amen. Today's broadcast is only part four. And I am sure that many of you can resonate and agree with what I've been sharing thus far. Hmm? I pray, however, 
may you not be like some who only hear a lovely song or only hear a lovely voice as the scripture says in Ezekiel 33 who hear the words but will not do them because that would not be profitable to you amen listen I know the grace that God has given me I am one who is not self proclaimed I'm not self proclaimed or a fly by night I am anointed for this I am appointed for this I am authorized and ordained for this amen and testimonies abound thank you Lord may you therefore not miss your time no wonder the Bible says be careful how you entertain strangers lest you entertain angels unaware all right now I want to show you a key thing as it um, as I come to a close because this will help someone real good may not be for everyone but it will help so watch this whenever and wherever the Lord revealed himself to Abraham he built an altar you must never take it lightly when a prophet is in your midst amen because before the Lord does anything in the earth he reveals it to his servants the prophets the prophet then reveals that thing to others amen so as the Lord reveals his intense purpose in your heart to respond because every word demands a response amen so watch this when the Lord said to Abraham to sacrifice his Isaac is Isaac started to respond hmm? I see the wood I see the fire but where is the lamb I want for you to understand as well that whenever the Lord requires a sacrifice it may start to speak to you hmm? and it may seem unreasonable and give you all the reasons and excuse why it should be better off not being done I hope you're following but Abraham made a profound statement the Lord will provide himself a ram now because he was willing to make the sacrifice in the first place the sacrifice did not only have the ability to speak to him but also to speak for him now when the Lord requires something of us he has already made provision for our next it was at this point that God revealed himself as Jehovah Jireh to Abraham amen no my apostle and mentor would say it this way God caught the ram by its horn because there are times when the Lord has to take the fight out of the ram so as for you the sacrifice can go on hmm? listen for many of you that are watching and listening there are some things that have been fighting you but you must trust the Lord that he can take the fight out of that thing whatever it is amen you must never forsake the opportunity to respond to what you have heard because every word demands a response amen thank you Lord Jesus no this may sound audacious but literally your problem doesn't matter anymore when an authentic prophet is around why because prophets change matters amen some of you need to raise up altars in this season altars that will speak for you and your family and that will speak louder than the altars of your enemies listen I have just shared some of the intents of the enemy started from the previous broadcast and if there is anyone who ought to be doing the finishing it is you and I amen and listen don't believe for a minute that your enemies are playing with your altars they are making significant sacrifice it's too much and I and I won't even bother to get into it but for reference sake you can read at your convenience Acts 19 verse 19 amen so in this season it is altar versus altar and hear me well we must know when seed is required from when sacrifice is required because altars have no interest in seed they are interested in sacrifice amen so again the nature of the word demands corresponding response and wherever there is no deposit there is no demand David said it this way what can I give unto the Lord if it doesn't cost me as hard as it seems which was a test Abraham's Isaac was already in his means hmm? and sometimes the Lord will test you if you will release what is in your means what is in our means and the power to do 
because he has already made provision, the provision that we require. So in closing, if some of you are to finish well, there are times that you must take it by force. Amen? Thank you, Lord Jesus. So if this broadcast has been a blessing to you and the Lord revealed himself by what was shared, then do something prophetic. Say, Lord, what would be a tangible sacrifice to raise an altar that will speak for me? Amen? And as you pray that, when the Lord ministers to you, be willing to offer it up. Amen? And let it contend against the altars of your enemies and against the place called Gob, G-O-B. So if you are desirous of doing this, then there will be links in the description area below as to how it can be done. All right? I spent a little time on this, of course, on this part, because when it comes on to the prophetic, a lot of things are assumed. But listen, wisdom is profitable to direct. It is better to know. Amen? And for some of you, listen, what you will finish, hear me well, to finish that thing well and the season well, you must connect well. So as usual, I trust that you were blessed by this. And if you were, then go ahead and hit that, um, hit that like button and begin to share this broadcast with others. Amen. And if you haven't as yet subscribed, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified each time I share what the Lord reveals. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your faithfulness. So thanks again, guys, for watching and listening. Thanks for your time. And until the next broadcast, which will be day five, every blessing and shalom and to God be all the glory. Hallelujah.